welcome guys to our channel and uh, in this video we are going to see how to set up a router in GNS3 and use an, uh, any Linux docker containers which is loaded with Python and so that we can configure the Cisco device using Python. It will be using a telnet session. We will write a small script which will log into the uh, router and configure the uh, blueback address or any other host name. We can set it up or any other interface parameters, whatever it is. So let's start uh, adding the nodes in the GNS3. Now, okay, we'll take up this node 7200 router. Yeah, and then we need a um, router uh, yeah, PC which is a docker containers which you can use like Linux docker containers to connect to this router and configure a uh, loopback address using Python scripts. Okay, let's uh, there is also network automation uh, tool is there uh, we can use that and also do the same project. Okay, it's a Linux uh, Docker container. This is okay. Let me take out this Docker container, Network Automation Docker container, and just now we will interconnect these two devices using uh, interface Ethernet zero of the will be connected to fast Ethernet zero of the router. Then you start it up. So both should be coming up now, and then you can use. Uh, telnet session to start to this console yeah, connect console here so you are up with the network automation uh, which is Linux if you want to check what is there in this uh, we can I can show you now we can just uh, I will just reduce it so that we can have both windows here right so what is here is uh, uname minus a will tell you that it's Ubuntu machine which is installed with Python right and now we will connect to the router using a telnet session uh, console connection so we are on the router now okay we have a router connection and also we are connected to console of uh, and also we will have in parallel a session with the telnet session with the uh, automation tool so we have both windows here so let's uh, I can minimize a little bit of that so that we can have both you can see full yeah I think yeah it's fine so now you have both the screens available and our network is uh, our setup is very simple setup as I explained to you you can see here it's only one router and uh, one Linux docker container okay let me there are python scripts you can go to python uh, 2.7 and then you can look for a telnet script which is available and we can so before starting it we need to set up some configuration on the router so that we can connect to the router show ip interface brief you see there is no ip address assigned to the interface so we will say config key we need to assign an ip address for both uh, Okay, let us check what is the IP address assigned to the interface of this Linux machine. If there is an IP, we can use it, or otherwise we will we will set it up new IP. Yeah, we will set up an IP here. Uh, okay, interface uh, fast Ethernet, fast Ethernet uh, zero zero. Okay, and IP address. I will say 10.10.10.2 255 255.255.0 and no shut that's it we have done the initial configuration of this router and also we need to check whether telnet is allowed on this router before so we can say exit here and we can try to turn it on own telnet 10.10.10.2 right okay there is a password required not set okay connection is closed well so what we will do config key then 
then we will say line uh, line vty 04 login local and then transport transport input all means you can allow ssh and both you can do that and then we will say we will get a user username username cisco then password cisco okay set exit now we we'll just tell that to our router 10.10.10.2 cisco password so we are able to tell that right right okay exit enable enable mode enable enable password is not yet so it will not allow to enable right so we need to do that also exit config t uh, config t then uh, we will say uh, secret right we have to set up the enable password so enable secret is a, you have to say enable secret Cisco. so i think now it's, it should be okay let me check it out exit here sorry now we have taught out of telnet 10.10.10.2 10 Cisco Cisco enable Cisco yeah, we are enable. okay good it's working now we can say that at least we are uh, we are this is a router and we are able to get into that okay fine now uh, let us uh, get a python script which you can be used you can get it from net a lot of available uh, python scripts are there and uh, we can just uh, take that python script and add it here so le let me put the ip address here as 10.10.2 uh, .10 uh, and uh, this is a simple script which you can use it i will just explain you the script so that you can also understand and do it i'll just copy the script and uh, we'll go here uh, vi test telnet python script okay and i'm just going to paste it in this one uh, test it. so i'll just explain you go through the script so you understand it's uh, libraries we are just trying to import uh, get pass get import sys library and telnet library and then we have the host address what we will be connecting is 10.10.2 .10 which is our router address and the user the input is raw that is it will it will say enter user telnet username and password is get pass these are the things which is available already uh, in uh, python 2.7 and telnet tn is not equal to telnet library telnet and then host host is the ip address of the so it will this will execute telnet telnet library dot telnet host ip address okay the telnet read until username then user you enter the username then it will give enter and read until password then again you enter the password then enter then we are going to log in and then you will say enable cisco then uh, you put uh, config t then you will set up the ip address loopback and end and exit i think it's a very simple one let me um, here uh, debug we will, while executing the script we will also verify whether it's going through on the router and also show ip interface brief is nothing is here right only ip address set okay i'll just add one more uh, post name here right i will say that config the after that uh, what we will do we will say host name we will set up host name as our host name right? insert host name uh, python uh, python r1 i will say python r1 is the host name it will be set up there we will check this one what happens okay 
now save the script hide and quit vi editor ok now i will be executing the script and see what happens python test telnet python we are going to go our script is telnet python and it is asking for username say put cisco uh, write and password cisco Error. network is unreachable there is something uh, it not able to reach yeah. uh, i think we didn't set up the ip address for this pc right that's the main issue right so let's open vi slash etc slash network slash interface file and then just uh, we make it auto uh, sorry I, we have to hit this one uh, we have just remove the ash here yeah. and uh, sorry we are getting a key here messed up here ok so just I will again come back so we need to not to delete the x so we have static and uh, we will uh, network and then address uh, this one sorry i think that's again mess up is there i think it let me open up again mask is removed yeah so i just delete only this delete this then delete this delete this this is more than enough and we will set up the ip as 10 i think better to delete i will add it up append uh, network uh, ten dot it's not net mask it should be ip address i think there is something wrong again okay under no issues i will say um, the etc slash network interface file should be looking like this because ten dot address of the local interface and then the, the remote interface is gateway right so we will save this uh, right and quit uh, saving it now we need to do a restart of this node because the ip has to be set up for this or I have to restart service so let me stop it and start it that is better than I will stop this mode stop and start oh this one I am not sure but let's see that what happened the configurations all remain or not uh, ok let's connect to the nodes the R1 R1 is coming up here. Okay. Then let us see the IP address and configuration is easy because I just uh, will save it. Um, R1 is network automation. Let's look for the network automation tool. And this is uh, so. Console here. Yeah, it's up now. Let us see the IP address set on this tool. IP address is set or not? IF config minus A. Uh, wow, here is still missing, right? I think we didn't save it. Okay, VI yeah, slash PTC network interfaces it's there ah, okay there is one more thing i didn't enable auto it that's the reason yes okay let us save okay shift colon quit let me do it again this uh, inter auto we have to done correctly let us let me see again so that we can no it's doing something wrong here because of the window size I think yeah so let me quit again 
okay you should be removed right and then in i face yeah that's good okay then again we need to do the right and quit it then let me stop and start the phone stop and start okay start okay and then now let us see what is going on in the router now router is off so the uh, show IP interface brief. Oh, router also lost the configuration, right? We need to get back all this configuration. Okay, I restored the configuration on the router and also on the this one uh, automation to uh, Ubuntu machine. So let me test it now. Exit here and debug internet. Okay, uh, let us verify the script. What is the script is telnet uh, test telnet python, right? That is the script and we have this, uh, we are just checking it back, everything is fine. Enable and okay. Looks seems fine now, host name we have put here, yes, okay. So, wq, sorry, uh, escape. Shift Q. Quit it. Okay, now Python. Python telnet test. Okay, Cisco. Cisco. See here, you have been connected to the router. It did enable, then it did config T, and it has set the host name and it has exited. And you can see also in the telnet log. Here, what are the things happening here? So it's uh, you just give enter. See the host name of this uh, router is changed to this one and show IP interface brief. You see there is a loopback address is uh, set up. So it's our first Python script on uh, testing uh, for a telnet session with the router on GNS32. If you like this video, give thumbs up and please subscribe thank you